these majestic marine gems. Sea turtles just keep on fascinating us. We've always been in awe of them, watching them swim with strong, gentle grace. They're brilliant navigators, swimming thousands of kilometers between feeding and nesting grounds. They have existed on Earth for an incredible 150 million years. Hi everyone, my name's Abby and welcome to Animal Educate. Today, we're going to be looking at sea turtles. Now, I've always loved sea turtles. Not just because they're adorable or because they fascinate me, because it's just so incredible, they're still here today. They face many threats. Once again, please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, so you can stay up to date with all my episodes and do like the video if you enjoy the episode. Before I get started, I want to show you something. So I'm always looking at ways I can help wildlife and it's not always easy. But there's some companies out there that are doing some really, really good work. One of those is Wildlife Collections. And I discovered this bracelet. So it's not just a bracelet. And the best thing about it is you get to track a real sea turtle. You can learn the sea turtle's name, their size, and you get a picture of them. But best of all, you get exclusive access to their tracking map. So you can see where they are. This is amazing. Wildlife collections are looking at lots of different species of animals that are in dire need. So please do check them out. If you are interested in one of these, please do use this code so you get 10% off. A portion of all the proceeds obviously go to conservation efforts. And in this case, it's the Sea Turtle Conservancy. They help raise awareness and provide protection for all sea turtles across the globe. And also, by using this code, anything I make, I also donate back as well. Sea turtles are reptiles of the order Testudines. Please forgive me if I haven't pronounced that right. <laughs> and of the suborder Cryptodera. They can be split into the categories hard-shelled and leathery-shelled. There's only one leathery-shelled turtle now, and that's the leatherback turtle. Scientists recognise seven species of sea turtle. The hawksbill. The loggerhead. The leatherback. Olive ridley. Green. Flatback and Kemp's Ridley. Sea turtles can be found in all oceans except polar regions, and they're known for their migratory patterns. Sea turtles and their amazing navigation comes from their ability to sense the magnetic field. They tend to spend their lives in relatively shallow continental shelf waters. Sea turtles can migrate really long distances some of them 20 miles a day. Sea turtle species vary greatly in size. The smallest, the Kemp's Ridley, can weigh up to 40 kilograms, whereas the leatherback turtle can weigh up to 500 kilograms. That's quite a difference. Their beak-like mouth, which is what they use to grasp their food, is made of keratin, which is the same stuff your fingernails are made from. The turtle shells are made of over 50 bones which are all fused together. But they also have light spongy bones which help them float. Many sea turtles are named for aspects of their physical appearance. Like the leatherback is named for its leather-like shell, which is like leather and not hard-shelled. So yes, sea turtles, they have a hard streamlined shell. And unlike other turtles, they can't pull their limbs or their head back inside their shell. Their limbs are flippers, which are adapted for swimming, and this makes them really vulnerable when they're on land. A sea turtle's shell obviously protects them from predators and abrasions. Turtles seem slow on land, a bit like their tortoise cousins. 
but in the sea, they can be quite fast. In fact, the leatherback turtle, they have a swimming speed of up to 35 kilometers per hour. It takes 20 to 30 years for a sea turtle to reach sexual maturity. Estimates of sexual maturity vary among species, but also populations within species. Each species breeding pattern varies. For most species, the courtship activity takes place several weeks before the nesting season. The copulation takes place in the water just offshore and fertilization is internal. Males have enlarged claws and this helps them to grasp onto the female shell during mating. Two or more males may court a single female. Interestingly, females return to the same beach they hatched on. They'll lay their eggs in the sand nests. She can lay over 150 eggs each time. This large number gives the hatchlings a higher chance of survival. Whether that sea turtle is male or female depends on where it's located in the nest. So it's all down to temperature. If they're positioned where the temperature is above 28 centigrade, it means they're more likely to be female. If cooler, more likely to be male. Sea turtles even talk to each other before they've hatched. And researchers, they think that this is because they're coordinating their hatching times. Once they've hatched from their nests on the beach, they race for the water. This journey is so dangerous for them. It's full of predators from crabs, lizards, birds, just lots of other hungry animals. If they're fortunate enough to reach the shore, they will swim for as long, as hard and far as they can for days. Unfortunately, it's estimated that around only one in 1,000 sea turtles make it to adulthood, and this is because of all of the dangers that they face. We don't have exact numbers, obviously, on how many sea turtles do survive. I mean, it's even said that estimates vary between one in 1,000 and one in 10,000, but we do know that few hatchlings make it to adulthood. The first few years of a sea turtle's life is known as the lost years. This is because they're incredibly difficult to study during this time. This time they spend out at sea, sometimes 20 years plus, but we can't access them. It's still a mystery to us. Their natural lifespan is estimated to be between 50 to 100 years. Different turtles like different food. Some like shellfish, some like sponges. The green turtle, they like sea grasses and seaweed. Baby green turtles eat anything, but as they get older, they turn vegetarian. So out of all the different species of sea turtle, the green turtle is the only herbivore. Some species will specialize in certain prey. So the leatherback turtle, they eat mainly jellyfish, which means they help to regulate the jellyfish populations. The Kemp's Ridley, the Olive Ridley, the Loggerhead, the Hawksbill, they're all omnivores, and they're omnivores their entire life, and they eat a wide variety of animals and plants. The disappearance of sea turtles, like other keystone species, means the ecosystem is imbalanced and doesn't function properly. So they find themselves at the top of the food chain in most ecosystems, which means that many other species depend on them. They're important predators, so they keep other animal populations in check. They keep ocean food chains healthy. The Hawksville turtle eats lots of sponges, which would otherwise outcompete reef building corals. So the turtles help to protect the coral reefs, which are very important to the survival of many other species. They can help prevent the impact of climate change in coastal communities. The eggshells and the unhatched eggs from the nests help to nourish the vegetation cover of the dunes. 
Vegetation helps to prevent the erosion of dunes from strong winds, strong tides and waves. So having strong and healthy dune systems and coral reefs, this will help prevent coastal areas from getting flooded. This would be due to sea level rise or hurricanes. Six of the seven sea turtle species are threatened with extinction. Sea turtle population estimates are based on the number of egg-laying females, as we can't be sure of the numbers of elusive sea-dwelling males or females that aren't breeding. There's coastal development and litter. Coastal developments can destroy turtle nesting beaches. Even if the females do manage to dig nests, if the beaches have litter all over them, it's going to prevent the hatchlings from reaching the sea. It basically creates obstacles for them. Fishing nets. If sea turtles get tangled in fishing nets and hooks, this can drown them. Overfishing and unsustainable fishing also damages turtle feeding grounds, like seabeds and coral reefs. Hunting. Turtles are hunted for their meat and their shells, and their nests are raided for the eggs. The eggs are actually seen as a delicacy in some cultures. Global warming. As the sex of the turtle is determined by the temperature, global warming could threaten the long-term viability of some populations. Climate change is also causing sea levels to rise, and we have more storms, which are damaging turtle nesting beaches. How you can help. Reduce plastic as much as possible. Cut out seafood or reduce as much as possible. Adopt a sea turtle. Buy a turtle bracelet. Turn off the lights at night near nesting beaches as artificial light may disorient hatchlings and distract them from making their dash to the sea. If you see a turtle nest, leave it alone. Dispose of litter properly and use reusable bags. Knock down sandcastles, fill in holes and remove everything you bought with you. Never release balloons outdoors. Balloons that find their way to the ocean are choking hazards for marine creatures like sea turtles. Thank you for watching the episode about sea turtles. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do comment below and share your experiences. If you've ever seen a sea turtle in the wild, that would be amazing. I'd love to hear about it. Thanks again for watching. Please do subscribe or like the video if you enjoyed and until next time.